Hey, spent in Kingsland tells us major challenges remain after the Rancho 2900 bridge washed out during historic flooding in October. KXAN's Will Dupree found out today drivers are still having to take significant detours and dozens of people are still living without crucial utilities. That moment, the 2900 bridge collapsed on October 16th last year. Barbara Schmidt and her husband immediately lost all cable, internet, and phone services. We were left without communications of any kind. She finally got back everything on New Year's Eve. We're very glad to get this back. However, her 90-year-old mother, who lives right next door, still has nothing. This is her phone. It's dead. No dial tone. Their service comes from Frontier Communications. The company lost its cables that ran under the bridge. As a result, about 250 customers lost the different services. Frontier plans to get in touch with Schmidt and her mother to resolve their issues, but there's no firm timeline. Other problems persist too. Debris remains piled up, but county leaders promise people that cleanup crews will return. For us to have some debris still laying around is, I don't think, is a great hardship, and I don't think uh, most of the people in the neighborhood think, uh, think of it that way either. Although neighbors are impressed to see work progress on the new bridge, Schmidt is less so with the slow pace it's taking to get her family's life back to normal. Will Dupree, KXAN News. A spokesperson for Frontier Communications told us that its estimates show that 21 customers still do not have internet service right now in that area. The company expects that to be restored to them within the next couple of weeks.